Hey guys, what is going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome back to an all max troop raid. Today we are focusing on the minions as we get some barbarians in our clan castle. That's not what I asked for, but that's absolutely fine. So as I said, we are on the minions today, which is one of the coolest dark troops, probably because they are flying. You can ha you can hold 120 minions in your army camps because they take two slots each. So that's not too bad at all, especially for flying ones. So to go with this, uh, my spells, I was kind of confused on what spells to put in, uh, but what I like to run with for this is free spells and rage spells. The reasons for that is the rage obviously gets the minions nice and angry, gets them in the base quickly and pooping on absolutely everything, and the free spells can hopefully stop expos, inferno towers, uh, air defenses, wizards, etc, etc. So hopefully that should be the right mix to do it. Uh, we're going to go and have a look at some bases. What we want to find really for this raid is uh, Town Hall 9 bases if we're doing all max minions because it's not a raid you're going to be doing in real life. Uh, we're currently in Crystal 1 so it's not too bad because we're farming down here. In my clan castle I have currently got minions and barbarians so that's not too bad either. We've got a few minions. Anyway, we've also got our king and our queen. Let's head on into a battle and try and find one. So the first base we find actually is is pretty good. We, yeah, this isn't too bad at all. The reason this one isn't that bad is these expos, one of them's pointing down, two of them are pointing up, but they're right next to each other, and they're right next to that inferno, so it should be easy to hit a free spell on. Uh, it definitely looks doable. Everything's kind of under-leveled for a Town Hall 10, as you can see, the air defense is the lower levels, uh, and everything's around the outside, so we can definitely pick apart the 50%. So if we throw them around the outside, uh, just trying to get the 50% at least, we can put in our clan castle troops as well nice and early and hopefully we can get most of the outside buildings uh, and be alive. So the clan castle troops have been drawn out now but luckily the minions being flying no ground troops can bother them. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ham at the top. I think this is probably going to be our point. We're going to chuck them all in, let them go, look at them flourish over there. If we drop a rage spell down they go absolutely mad and start chopping up this base like a boss. Please go into the center, guys. Please go into the center. Let's throw a rage and freeze up. There we go. We can freeze up that uh, expo and inferno like I said we could. We've got another freeze spell as well, so we can always use another one. All our troops are deployed. Uh, let's freeze them up one more time just to make sure. None of them have gone to the center, though. Let's rage them up there. Hopefully, that will bring some of, them up, some of them in. They are starting to get into the center as well. We're on 37%. The Inferno's back up alive. The Expos are going ham on my troops in the sky. We're going to get the 50%, though, guys. Come on. We've got to get the 50% at least. This is going to be so, so hard to get. Yes. We're going to get the 50 Yes. There we go. We got the 50%. Now, can we clutch the Town Hall? The Queen's on it. She's raged up. Is she going to take it down? She has got the Inferno bothering her. But yes, we've been able to get the two-star with the all-max minion raid. That is absolutely insane. Obviously, with help from our king and queen. But we bring them, bring them along for everything. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please do smash the like button down below. And comment if you ever do any max raids as a serious raid. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out. What's going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome to a brand new Clash of Clans video. So today is something really awesome, really unique, and pretty lucky actually. You will notice that my Dark Elixir on my achievements is nearly full to complete Heroic Heist uh, Star 1. And you literally see, I need one more Dark Elixir. That could not have been done any better. I didn't plan it. Somebody tweeted to me last, last night saying, dude, you only need one more. And uh, I was absolutely amazed. So obviously, um, I should have a lot more Dark Elixir grabbed than I do here. But because this is all gemmed and we do the gemming sprees for every uh, like 100,000 subscribers or 10,000, 20, whatever uh, that we do it for, I haven't had to get that much Dark Elixir. So we're going to complete the Heroic Heist Challenge today. Hopefully soon as well, my Gold Grab will get 3-starred and my Elixir uh, escaped... Esca escapade, sorry. Escapade. Elixir Escapade. It's getting late. I can't read. Uh, will be complete as well. I know loads of people will be commenting about it. You should have completed this ages ago, but I don't care. I've got a nice base, uh, and we've done the gemming videos for fun. So to get that, I thought there'd be nothing better than using Dark Elixir troops to get the Dark Elixir achievement. And what I've gone is quite interesting. Instead of the Go Y, Go Wee Wee, right? I was going to say Go Wipe. Instead of the Go Wee Wee, we've just got the Go Wee. So you don't need to go for a wee wee, we're just going to go for a wee. So it's going to go wee with a couple of minions, uh, and we're going to see how it goes. So let's go out, find a base to raid, and see what happens. Now I've also changed my base, you might have seen there. Uh, it has changed, and it's actually really good, and I'll go over that for you in a bit. So we could attack this one, but let's try and find something with 500 plus Dark Elixir at least. Uh, as much as 400 is nice, it would be cool to be able to like get a lot more from it. 
Uh, this one here is quite nice. I think it's all in his pumps, but that's a really weird base. Come on. Give me something absolutely insane for us to take down. Like 10,000 Dark Elixir would be very, very nice indeed. Uh, this one's got 700, uh, but it does look like a base we might be able to like wipe out. So let's see if we can do this one. It is a Town Hall 10, but I think we could do pretty well on it. So let's spawn these out. We're going to spawn them separated like that. Uh, we're going to let the Mortars do their job. We're going to spawn in our Witches. No idea what we've got from our Clan Castle. Uh, just a couple of little bits, I think. Uh, then we're going to spawn in our King, spawn in our Queen, and we're going to jump over those four there, which should be uh, a perfect jump right there. We're going to freeze those three up, and hopefully we can push forward. There we go. We're going for the jump now, which is insane. And we got it! Heroic Heist complete. Awesome. Uh, I wasn't sure if, like, that was gonna work like that because sometimes you never get any Dark Elixir but it were to treat the Dark Elixir raid is going well we have wiped out his town hall uh, we've taken pretty much all of his Dark Elixir from that storage he had there and we've completed the challenge getting the 50% as well so we're on the two star here the king has been taken down in the center uh, our queen is pressing on we've got golems around the left with some witches this raid's actually pretty good I never have done just golems and wi uh, witches before but it actually has worked really really well so you can see we've pushed through the center and we've wiped that out. The skeletons at the top are doing jobs and they obviously work as a distraction. And with the golems there as well to take the brunt of the attack, it's a pretty unstoppable force to be honest. And I may start doing this as a serious raid. So if you want to see an attack strategy guys, we just go we to see how it goes against loads of different bases. Hit the like button down below and also comment down below. And hey, hit the like button because we just did an amazing achievement which is so so cool. Um, and hopefully next is going to be the big ones, the gold grabs and the elixir grabs. I will try and plan... Oh my god, look at that giant bomb. Uh, I will try and plan that so I can do it in a video. And there we have it, 100%. And we can now go and get our lovely, lovely achievement. She is shouting at us, dude, you've got an achievement. Claim your reward, 10 gems and 100 XP. Very, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. It was a little bit short, but I just wanted to show you winning that and how lucky we were to be only one dark elixir away. Uh, if you like the video, hit like down below. Comment as well if you want to see more of these little achievement videos. But until next time, thank you so much for watching.